Clarewood is a provision for young homeless people or people that are, that are at risk of homelessness. So that can be for a number of different reasons. It could be because of family breakdown, it could be because the place that they're staying at present can't house them any longer. Um, we've got eight beds here at the minute, so there are eight self-contained flats. And then we've got two move-on flats, which is the next step uh, for young people. So when they're ready, they move to the move-on flats still receive the same support they would here, but they've got a sort of an, a normal rent and a supported accommodation rent, which is a massive benefit to them. Um, and they've got the independence of being away from the project in a, what looks like and, and is pretty much a general needs property. I basically fell out with my like, mother and father and it was getting a bit too much. and I felt like I just wanted to move on. And that's when I came into Clarewood then. It was hard because it wasn't like the same, got a bit emotional and crying and things like that because I like realised that I'm missing my family and it all started when I was living with my foster mother. I moved out when I was 18 and I moved to Cam Nersav. I was there for two and a half years and I then moved here to Clarewood. Just before I moved into Clarewood. I was uh, homeless. I hadn't long turned 17 and I didn't think I was going to see my 18th birthday, if I'm honest. I, uh, I went from living in a tent in my friend's back garden because his, his parents just couldn't cope with our drug use to having my own place here. Um, I was allowed to move in a little earlier because I said that I would paint it myself and that gave me real ownership over it. The staff here helped me go to doctors, go to any appointments I need help with. They support me washing and ironing. I asked like if I could go shopping and things and because I have trouble like choosing food. They were helping me about my benefits called Universal Credit and they helped me through that. I went to like job centre and Jim was by my side. Well they supported me to first learn how to cook properly, how to keep myself tight, clean and tidy because at the time I was addicted to a very, very nasty substance that I wasn't caring for myself at all. I'd go weeks without showering and everything. Since I've been living in Clarewood, I've been working with the youth service and we've started the gym. We went on a Christmas meal and we're going to be doing first aid. I feel like I can go out and feel like a normal 21 year old. So when I moved to the move on flat, I had a support worker help me set up all my utilities, show me how to do them more than help me set them up. I think that was a big thing for me, having to go and put the gas and electric and the water and stuff on myself. It was a massive help, yeah. I don't think I would have done it without the support workers. I'm quite proud of myself because I'm going to college and I got plans to own my own business and become a chef. Clarewood is brilliant, it is. I'm totally safe here and yeah, I'm gonna have to thank them all, you know. I left here and I was the most confident person ever. Um, I wanted to start work, I wanted to be a youth worker because of this place. I wanna help more people like that was in my position. It sounds very cliche, but this place has saved my life. I, would, I wouldn't be sitting here to talk to you right now without this place.